Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, I'll be telling you about the important and the frequently asked interview question for the automation testers, especially who are doing who, who are doing automation in Python, who are using PyTest automation framework. So one of the very important questions that is commonly asked to them is explain your PyTest automation framework, the folder structure, the folder structure for your PyTest automation framework. And it is not like this is the common question only for the people who are doing automation in Python. But even if you are using Selenium with Java, or if you are doing automation in C Sharp or in .NET or any other language or any other framework, then this is a common question that can be asked to you. So coming to this particular question, if someone asks you this question, so this is how you have to explain. So we'll be telling you about all these things in a detail. So you have all these folders, you have test, you have pages, you have utilities, you have fixtures, you have test data, you have pytest.ini file, you have requirements.txt file, and you have readme.md file, okay? So this is how your folder structure of your automation framework would look like. Plus or minus, it would be 10% here or there, depending on your company, depending on your project and all those things. But the base remains the same. And how to explain this folder structure is very important. Okay, and apart from that, I would also like to tell you about the Selenium with Python interview questions that are commonly asked to the people who are having three plus years of experience, two plus years of experience. So we have created a digital product in which we have covered these questions and answers for the people who are looking to prepare for automation testing with Python in mind, with Selenium with Python in mind, right? If you are looking for Selenium with Java, then we have the separate digital product, but this is dedicated for the automation testers who are using Selenium with Python. You'll get a lot of questions, and these particular questions are also asked in the MNC-based companies like LTM Mind Free. Now, coming to the automation testing question, how to explain, <clears throat> sorry, your PyTest automation framework, the folder structure here, right? So first of all, you have test. Within the test, it is, as the name itself it is, it is the test cases folder. It is pertaining to the test cases. So you will have the test files for different, different screens. For example, you have login functionality, you have registration functionality, you have some of the API tests. So you will have those individual test files. Then pages. So depending on the design pattern, so here I am explaining with respect to page object model as a design pattern. So you have page objects for UI automation, for login page, for registration page, right? So those will be pages. So this is the list, this is the hierarchy that would continue to increase, that would continue to go on and on. It depends on how many screens, how many modules you have. So here I have broken down in some like login and registration for now, right? Then you have utils. So what is there in utils? So you will have common utilities, you have configurations, right? So utilities folder for helper functions, you have configuration file. Why do we need configuration files? Because you have to run the test automation in different, different environments, staging environment, test environment, then you have you might be running in your pre-prod UAT environment, all those things. So those URLs, those environments, you might be running with respect to specific roles, specific users, so those all things are there in the configuration files. Then you have common utilities. So you have logging mechanism. You'll be using log4j or you will be using some other third party library. So you have to read some particular files. Maybe you have to read text file. You have to read some files. So those all things you'll be putting in the common utilities. Then you have fixture files. So fixture files for reusable setup or tier down logs. So you have some kind of mechanism, some kind of configuration to be done before your every test and after your every test. So in that case, you will have these particular files. Then the test data files, very important. So even in manual testing, test data plays a very vital role. Without an important test data, you cannot deal with your automation. You cannot deal with your testing, manual testing as well. So similarly in automation also, you need test data. So you might read the data from the JSON files or from the CSV files. So you can have a separate folder structure for test data as well. Right, then you have the PyTest configuration file, the dependencies for the project, and at the end you have a readme file. So that is a documentation for the project. So it becomes very important that you have a readme file in your 
framework because if you don't have such kind of files then it becomes difficult for the people who are joining your team and they are looking forward to contribute in the automation framework it becomes difficult for some outsiders as well if someone is coming in your company for doing an audit so they might also refer your readme file at the first glance right so that is very important so here is the explanation of the folder structure you have test it contains the actual test file each test file starts with the test underscore or ends with the underscore test dot pi to allow pi test automatic test discovery right separate separate files are possible for these particular things right then we discussed about page object model at the pages level that you have then we discussed about the utility functions like configuration handling logging mechanism you might be going for log 4j you might be logging with the date time stamp and what is the status of the execution all those things right then you have fixtures so it contains setup and tear down functions right fixtures are used for initializing things like database connections setting up web drivers or pre-populating test data let's say you have to connect to the database and you want to read some values from some particular table so you can use fixtures for those particular things right then test data as we discussed the test data is important for reading from json files csv any other formats to separate the data from the test logic right so it is generally used for reading the things right and then you have configuration files so you can set up options like markers adopts or even any other plugin so these is these are the basic things that you would have to explain if you are asked about this question explain your folder structure of the automation framework in which you are working so more or less it would be this only right plus one or two things that you can add depending on the things that you are using for example you might be going for report mechanism you might would have integrated reports then they might also ask you how is uh, the automation triggered how do you trigger the automation do you use CICD pipeline or do you run it manually never ever say that you are running manually always say that you trigger it via CICD pipeline only right so it becomes very important that you are able to answer such kind of question with a detailed level of explanation so that the interviewer is convinced with the answer that you are telling right so this was a short question this sorry this was a short video on the automation testing interview question that is explain the folder structure of your pytest automation framework that is generally used with the for the people who are using python in the programming language and selenium right and apart from that i would also like to tell you about the digital product which contains selenium with python interview questions so if you are preparing for these kind of interviews then you can prepare such kind of questions answers because these this digital product will have a lot of good questions that are actually real time those are asked in the companies right so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates